Number 34. So the problem gives us a 2 gram wire with a current flowing through it of 1.5 amps to the left. That's what I have drawn right here. There's also a B field engulfing the wire that's 10 centimeters wide. The problem asks us to find the magnitude and direction of the B field that would cause this wire to lev levitate. So in other words, it's asking us to find the force caused by the B field that will counteract gravity, which I drew here because gravity is in the downward direction. So what I did first is I found the force of gravity right there. That's mass times gravity. Um, 2 times 10 to the negative third kilograms, I accidentally wrote a G, that should be kg, times 9.8, and that equals 0 0.0196 newtons in the downward direction. So that tells us that we need a force caused by the B field to be the same magnitude as that, but in the upward direction, which would cause the wire to levitate. So we have this given equation that the force caused by a B field equals the current times the length crossed with the B field. And we know from a basic tr trigonometric identity that that can be transformed into LB sine theta. And we know using our right hand rule that theta is 90 degrees and I can illustrate that with my hand real quick. We, what we do is we point in the direction of the current, see, and our thumb ends up being in the direction of the force, which we want to be up in order to counteract gravity, and then you point your middle finger in the orthogonal direction of these two vectors. So that'll be my middle finger pointing at the camera. So now we know that the B field, the direction, is going to be out of the page, and we can move on from, the, from there and solve for B to get the magnitude. So what we do is we can get rid of sine theta because we know it's 90 and that just ends up being 1 so we can kind of disregard that. And then we have the force of the B field equals current times length times the B field. And we have three of the four variables which will allow us to solve for the B field and that's what we do here. I set the magnitude equal to this magnitude of the gravity. We have the 1.5 amps 0.1 meters, remember to change it to meters because that's the accepted units, and multiplied by the B field. So I did a little algebra and the B field ends up being 0 0.131 Teslas and we found that it's out of the page. So that's the B field that will generate a force in the upward direction that has the same magnitude as the gravity which is in the down direction causing the wire to levitate. And it's really as simple as that.